Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome back to another Smash Bros. Ultimate video. We have only 82 days until Smash Ultimate is released on the Nintendo Switch, so go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and join my Discord server and follow me on Twitter if you want to talk to me directly, and links in the description for all of that fun stuff. So in this video, I want to talk about some fresh new Smash Bros. information about how many stages we may be expecting in the final base game. So this information comes by way of a scan of the Japanese magazine Koro Koro from Source Gaming, and it states that 108 stages have arrived. Now, there's a super slim chance that this is just an error, but I'm personally at least 95% positive that this means we will be getting 108 stages in the base game rather than 103. So for the purpose of this video, we will presume that there are five stages yet to be revealed, which of course opens a door for some fun speculation. So Epic Martin on Twitter posted this mock-up building off the previously shown stage select screen. So this current setup leaves room for five additional stages bring us up to the total 108, as well as a leftover space in the bottom right corner for a DLC button to access eventual DLC stages. Another option is that this space could be open for the training stage, or maybe even one final stage, since an additional tab at the top could allow you to choose DLC. So by my own research, the normal tab changes to Battlefield or Omega accordingly, so this could be nothing more than just referencing that quality, but there could be a DLC tab in addition to this one, or maybe even a custom stage tab from a stage builder as Frost Wraith 357 pointed out on that same Twitter thread. So speculation time, let's presume for the purpose of this video that there will be five more stages left to be shown. They could be returning or new, and if they are new they could be from returning franchises or brand new franchises we don't even know about yet. Alright, if there are just these five left, and if they are in fact returning, I think they would need to be fairly hype, and most if not all of these have already been revealed, like the Fountain of Dreams for instance. Otherwise, if they aren't that highly anticipated, it would have made a lot more sense to just reveal them with the other returning stages in the last Smash Direct. Some of the ones I have in mind are Pac Maze, Rainbow Road 3DS, Mute City from Melee, Woolly World from the Yoshi series, and Poke Floats. And each of these would need to have some specific reason why they were held off until so much later, and so I'll just give my quick take on each of these. So Pac Maze is a great stage, and the definitive Pac-Man stage, but it comes with an unfortunate problem. If you consume one of the power pellets, it would turn the ghosts blue on your screen, which allows you to defeat them. But they still look normal on everyone else's 3DS, which causes those players to still receive damage if they do contact them. Since this gimmick would be impossible with a shared screen, unfortunately, it makes this stage problematic as well and Pac-Man's background on the official website is the much less liked Pac-Land stage, so I don't see this one returning as much as I'd love to be proven wrong. So Rainbow Road was another fun stage, and I'm honestly not sure why it wouldn't return, but also not sure why they would hold off until much later to announce it. So that being said, I'm just not sure, but I again unfortunately don't see this stage returning either. Mew City is a great stage, and one of the big reasons why I could see it returning is because on the Smash website, it lists the other Mute City stage as Mute City SNES. The only other time parentheses are used is for Yoshi's Island parentheses Melee, and that's because, well, there's already a plain Yoshi's Island stage, so that leads me to believe Mute City from Melee is coming back in the same vein. But why would it be saved until later? Well, it's a cool stage for one, but also maybe this means we'll get another F-Zero character, perhaps Black Shadow or Blood Falcon as an Echo, 
We'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. So Woolly World from the Yoshi series is another odd missing stage. Sakurai said it was added towards the end stage of development for the Wii U game, and it just has a great aesthetic. This one may have been changed to Yoshi's Crafted World for the new uh, 2019 Switch game, but we'll have to wait and see with that one as well. Now, Polka Floats is probably one of my favorite stages of all time. Some people think it couldn't return because of stage morph, but we have horizontal traveling stages like Big Blue and vertical traveling stages like Rainbow Cruise, so I wouldn't rule this one out completely for that reason. Also, who wouldn't want to see Avalug Omega version? But, um, but it, it's probably one of the generally most wanted stages we have left. This one could warrant waiting later to reveal for that reason alone, but it could also be revamped to add in the newer generations, not just Gen 1 and Gen 2. And this stage could be unveiled alongside a brand new Pokemon. So all of this said, I could see one or two of these five being returning stages and the rest of them being new. So at this point in the video, I'm going to transition to my new character predictions because it will go hand in hand with my new stage predictions. Note that I very rarely get predictions fully correct, let alone correct at all. So if you don't see your favorite characters mentioned, there's plenty chance for your character to be revealed. So to receive five brand new stages for five brand new characters seems very generous for a game that is already amazing. So I'm going to presume again that at least one or two of these stages is returning. Also note that only the unique newcomers from brand new franchises have gotten stages so far, that being Inkling with Moray Towers and Simon Belmont with Dracula's Castle. Whereas the unique newcomers from returning franchises, including Ridley, K. Rule, and Isabel, have not gotten a stage with their reveal. Which is too bad because a Gangplank Galleon stage would be so awesome, but maybe it would have been too similar to the pirate ship stage we already have, or again, maybe only unique newcomers from brand new franchises are getting stages this time. Therefore, I have four characters from brand new franchises that I think are not only possible, but also likely. If we don't see some of these characters in the base game, then I think they're certainly likely candidates for DLC, but let's talk about these as if they were bringing a brand new stage with them. So first up is Gino. Now whether he'll be introduced as a Super Mario rep or as a Super Mario RPG rep is debatable. His character is a registered trademark of Square Enix, and due to his third party nature, I think he could be in a new franchise all his own. For his stage, I would pick The Forest Maze. It has some pretty iconic scenes, and probably one of the best and most recognizable music tracks in the whole game. Next up is Isaac, who would be the lone rep for Golden Sun, or maybe even bring an Echo like Felix with him, like Simon and Richter. For his stage, I would pick one of the lighthouses, probably the Venus Lighthouse, as it stages an important battle and again great music to say the least. Next up, of course, is Shantae. If you're a fan of mine, you know this was coming, and you can check out all of my videos about Shantae's circumstantial evidence and the theories surrounding her inclusion, but for her stage, I would pick Scuttletown for its unique setting and centricity to the series. And last up is my retro slash WTF rep, because we all know the one thing we can predict about Sakurai is that he's completely unpredictable. And so the fact that I'm trying to predict this is ironic in itself, but I do think he will pick another out there retro character. And as I've said in a previous video, I think it could be Mock Rider, or maybe someone like the Dig Dug character. I'd actually really like that. But for a retro stage, how do we not have a side-scrolling Excite Bike stage? It would be so cool, and would partially explain why the Excite Bike assist trophy has gone missing since Brawl, like I talked about in my assist trophy analysis video. Now for the fifth stage, like I said, I think it would be either a returning stage, 
or a new stage from a returning veteran franchise. And so my pick just for completeness sake would be a revamped Pokefloats to be announced alongside either Icineroar or Decidueye. So anyway, that's my take on the remaining five stages. Let me know what you think about the Korra Korra scan. Let me know your thoughts about the game in general. As always, I love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Wreck-It Ryan, and I'll see you all next time.